microphone. Can everyone hear me? You can test. You're lucky you're sounding good. Hello, hello. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Good? I can't. No. <laughs> so what I really want to talk about without this being in my eye as I move over is to really talk about how are we building infrastructure. Right? How are we building infrastructure for all this innovation that's happening in Boston and in our communities? What is it that's going to drive people, drive the interest, engage folks in wanting to become part of this great ecosystem that we have? You know, in the Commonwealth, we have something around 250 early startups. That is amazing. We have world-class institutions of higher learning. Beautiful. And that's where all of that energy is being driven from. So then how do we tap into that energy? How do we tap into the youth? How do we look at education as really being the springboard, if you will, to get folks and to get the young people engaged? I think that is where we need to start because it is those young folks who are driving that innovation. So that's what we want to have. We have the entrepreneurship. If we build a model of infrastructure, infrastructure excuse me, then we'll be able to have all of these platforms will keep local businesses here, which keeps the local dollar here, which drives our economy here. That is what we want. And that infrastructure, starting in the school system, will allow our kids to thrive. And in such a way, it'll allow their families then to stay in their own communities. It's a whole other different conversation, but it's a part of building the infrastructure to make sure that our kids and our communities have a level playing platform where they can take advantage of this opportunity. And so I'm not gonna go to five minutes, but I want you guys to really think about that, how creating the infrastructure in the school systems, right? Early education through college. How do you create that engagement for these young college students and working in the community? How do we get that to happen? How do we foster those relationships? I think that, and only then, is when we will really engage and have a sustainable infrastructure, a sustainable community, and a sustainable population that stays in Boston. Thank you.